with infections rates falling and rising vaccinations. Turkey has lifted nearly all COVID restrictions. After months of severe restrictions, the country is seeking to return to normalcy. VOA's Dorian Jones reports from Istanbul. Preparations for a busy night at Istanbul's Aida restaurant. For the owners and staff, it's been a long battle for survival. For more than a year, the restaurant has either been closed as part of COVID lockdowns or operating under strict controls, limiting the number of customers and hours. Owner Elif Ullaham is now taking reservations. She says the lifting of restrictions came just in time. We feel that we can make it now. We were really in a desperate state during the last lockdown, especially. If we work two years in a row without restrictions, we can uh, turn back to being, uh, let's say, where we were a year ago before the pandemic. But it, it's hopeful right now in this sense. I mean, we're a small business, so it's easier for us to pick our pace up. The lifting of restrictions come after infection rates have fallen by 90%. The result, the government says, of an aggressive vaccination campaign, coupled with strict controls. After delays in procuring vaccines, Turkey's health ministry says it's vaccinating as many as one million people a day. But some doctors voice concern about the reopening, especially with the Delta variant now in Turkey. But the end of the lockdowns is more than welcomed by people desperate to return to normalcy. I am feeling very well, as after almost two years we are at a cultural activity in the open air, in beautiful weather. This is the first such event in two years. We haven't attended any before this. After more than a year of evening and weekend curfews, and most entertainment venues closed, people in Istanbul's Kadikur Entertainment Quarter seem only too willing to seize the opportunity for a night out. Returning to normalcy is bittersweet for some. We are happy on one side, but when we came back, we saw that many friends, many business neighbors were not able to open, and this made us very sad. So on the one hand, being able to socialize again, having Katakoi's spirit back, made us happy, while on the other hand, we are sad about these closures. But the lifting of controls came with a catch. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan announcing a midnight music ban in bars, claiming people shouldn't be disturbed. That has prompted howls of protest. But the controversy appears to have done little to dampen the spirits of those determined to celebrate. Dorian Jones of VOA News, Istanbul.